Welcome to the Two Ton Nerds. As always, my name is Max James. It's October 28th, 2018, which means it's day 28 of the 31 Days of Fright Horror Movie Project, Year 7. And today's movie is It Came from the Desert. Now, before I jump into telling you what you need to know about this movie, I'm going to tell you my initial response when the final credit rolled upon the screen, and is that I thought this movie was fun. And the best way to go into watching this movie is don't take it seriously. Just have fun. Pop you some popcorn or whatever you want to get the, for your movie snack and just have fun. Because that's what it is. It, it has cheesy dialogue. It reuses dialogue from other movies. Like Give Me Some Sugar Baby for Bruce Campbell and the Evil Dead movies. Um, has some acronyms. Uh, kind of referencing a movie that this is very similar to, um, Them, because on a wall it has T-H-E-M um, as an acronym. I can't remember what it actually spells out, but it's hilarious. They even reference the movie itself, and it's just, it's fun. It's, don't take this movie seriously at all. It's kind of on par with Eight-Legged Freaks and a movie that I've done back in year one, called Infestation, about bugs kind of taking over the uh, world. And this is more centralized in the desert, so it has this open-in feel to it, but still has a enclosed, claustrophobic feel, because when they go down and do the tunnels and everything. But it is fun. It is a blast. I found myself um, laughing at the dialogue and some of the kills and stuff like that. It's it's really fun. I love the characters in the main in the as the main characters and are even the female lead. She's funny as well, and even the side characters they're really great too. I mean they're they're all great. I mean you just can't take this movie serious. That's my. I know I keep kind of reiterating that. Just don't. Have fun. So, now, I'm going to tell you what you need to know. It's basically um, a motocross kegger going on in the desert while uh, giant ants kind of break out of their uh, containment and start running amok on everything. And the one thing that they need is beer and that's what they have in excess at this party in order for their queen to grow their eggs. So it's funny. Like I said, the special effects are really good. I, I wasn't expecting much because I only watched about a 30 second trailer for this because uh, I think the trailer is like, like two minutes long, but I only watched like 30 seconds. I'm like, I'm sold. I can't watch anymore. And so I thought the special effects were really good. I think they're about on par with Trimmers 5. Maybe a little less, but but about there. And to kind of give you another movie to kind of compare it to, um, it's better than Starship Troopers 3 um, Marauder. And when they're, it's much, much better looking than those bugs in those movies. So it's um, all the movie is done in CGI, but I don't think there's any practical effects. Um, except for like blood splatter in some spots, but mainly it's all CGI. But I don't care. It's fun. I wasn't expecting to go into this expecting an Oscar-worthy movie, but I was ex I was hoping to have fun, and I got it. So even the main characters, they are really they work well off each other. You got one that's kind of gung ho, kind of a doofus, but he's but he's so much fun. He has a lot of good lines in the movie, and then our other main character, he's kind of, um, he's the mechanic for this guy, who the doofus guy, um, he, the writer, he, um, he helps him tune his bike and everything, and he's very, has, he's the, the, the architect of what has to happen, and reads the map and stuff like that, and it's really fun. They play off each other really well. And when the female lead mixes into him as well throughout the movie, she's done really well. I mean, it's just fun. I I can't express how much fun this movie is, in my opinion. So, uh, that's really all I gotta say. Now on to the rating. Oh, one more thing. During the end credits, stay for the end credits because they... I didn't know that this was based on a video game. So they actually show f um, from start to finish... 
the video game on during the the credits. And I'm like, oh, that is really cool. I really like that um, touch to the end credits. You know, I don't. I've never seen that happen. So that's really cool. Um, I think for, um, the only one else is like the angry video game nerd, the movie. But he he was kind of doing more of a review. This is more of a a walk. Uh, more of a playthrough. So. But anyways, now on to my rating. You got one being run in the horror, two best watch with the group, three more than average horror, but as nothing new to the horror genre, four helps move the horror genre forward, and five being a horror classic. Now, this fits into two categories for me strongly. You got it's a two. It definitely is best watch with your group. Just because, just pop some popcorn and get your snacks and just have a lot of fun with your friends watching this movie. And then I think it's a four as well because it helps move the creature feature forward. Because, especially when it's in vain of the 1950s sci-fi movies, and you just gotta have fun. And you can tell they had fun. And that's to me, if they can have fun and the audience members can have fun, it helps move the horror genre forward, especially in the creature feature genre. So, that, that's, uh, I know that's, I, it can be, I think it's more of a two than a four, obviously, but it, I think it's a little bit both, in my opinion. So, with all that said, my name is Max James, Coming from the basement, please like, comment, and share. Let me know what you think about this movie down below. If you've seen it, if you haven't, tell me what you want to know more. I'll maybe do a follow-up review. I thought about doing those. Um, kind of, not doing revisited, but just kind of like, um, if I have some like additional thoughts about videos, I'm like, oh, I should probably do a kind of a part two review. So let me know what you think about that. And as well as um, hit the bell to stay notified for any future Two Ton Nerds videos. And as always, I'm going to go geek out.